Well, it's been a come away from the campsite. Actually, I had a good night's sleep last night. Just cleaned my teeth, so I was probably toothpaste all over my face. I think it's Friday the Friday the 21st. So I'm heading for Rannick Moor on my wild camping night. I've stocked up on some nutritious, good quality food. Heinz spaghetti bolognese and Prince's beef stew and me dehydrated meal. And a couple of Mars bars, a couple of Snickers. I think I've got a bit of cake as well, so I'm weighed down. But I ain't gonna starve. With. It's gorgeous, you can imagine the salmon jumping up through there in September time. Absolutely gorgeous in the summer, so cool it'll be. So I've just come along the valley, a bit noisy next to the road. Just been walking with that lad there. For the last time, I come up there and I've seen some cows up here. Now I could see the road going up there. Just up there and it started going uphill, I thought that was it. Um, so I bypassed the cows and when I got up there, there was an old woman shaking her hands, shouting, so I turned around and I come down and say, I says, what's the matter? She says, you're the West Highland way? I says, yes. She says, that way. Now I know. <laughs> so typical this time, I haven't got the dog, and there's no cows. Oh, this is good, isn't it? Let's see what's going to happen here. Man. Ah. Shit. Oh, Jesus. I knew I should have took off. What do you need there? Thank God, lad. Bit of modern art. Or is it just a tunnel? Hello! Hello! Anybody there? Guess who I found? Hey. Who is it again? Jody Jensen Tent. <laughs> oh, that's them. <laughs> yeah, actually he's stalking me. You have a good day, good night. Hellish walk. I bet how far was it for you? Well, we got to here from yesterday, so uh, I think it's 26 miles. 26 miles, dear yeah. me. Bloody hell. You're looking so one piece. We've had a snowball on the face. Oh. Something that says like 7,000 foot. It's like two, two times. 7,000, dear me. Young and fit. Oh, it's a test like yesterday. We struggled. Yeah, well, you've done well. So we're going up there, aren't we? Yeah. Ah, nice. Ah, nice. Strange goings on. I'm just in Tindrum now. This is the campsite. By the way, a campsite. Really peaceful here. A big main road outside. This is lovely. Showers. Nice camping spots. Drying room. Pub the night. All is well. All right. Finally coming out of Tindrum. Faffing around this morning, trying to get the tent dry before I pack it away. Might be in Welly Stop. A bit more food. Always concerned in case I need some more food. So, I think that's what it's going to be like today. I think it's going to be lots of rain. Anyway, only 16 miles. I shall get there. A place called Food Food Bar, I think it's called. Nice full breakfast there. Uh, chuck a block there now. It's just always straight up a hill as well. It was cold last night, somebody said it was down to zero. Felt like it. And then the rain started just before I got off the oh no. So a lot of condensation inside because the difference with outside temperature and probably me breathing. 
but I managed to get the tent dry a little bit before I packed it away. So that's not too bad. That's very cloudy the day. Don't think it's going to be the nicest day in the world. It's a nice quiet stretch up from Tindrum. Just in the valley, this odd car going past. That's the railway line. Now I've just booked last night to get back to Mulgai the start when I need to walk three miles to go back and get me car the secure parking. But um, yesterday, man on the site says you better book up because there's not much transport. <laughs> Should have done me home out really. So I looked at the bus, they didn't seem to be avail available. So I booked the train. So it takes about four hours, but I think it'll be a lovely trip back. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, a bit strange here. Yeah? One may ask why. Don't know if you can see, but the viaduct over there, that's maybe the railway line I'll be taking back on Wednesday. You see a train going over there, looks great. This mountain here, I'll have to look at my book. I'll correct it if I'm wrong, but I think it's Ben Doran. One of the many Monroes around here. Let's snow back there. It is 10 to 10. It's just starting to rain a bit. It's supposed to be in for the day, so... Hopefully it's just where the mountains here. Could be wrong. I don't know if this is a drone picking up. Maybe nothing like a drone. Morning. Is that a drone, is it? Yeah. Is it? What uh, what we're studying here? Sorry? What are we, what's it used for? Uh, what's up in the hill? The hill? Yeah, oh, railway. Oh, the railway, sorry. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. It's going up now. You need to ask these guys. Shouldn't yeah. be too long. <laughs> All good to go? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Batteries are in up, man. <laughs> Will it? No, I'm on a boot mine. <laughs> My very <barrier. laughs> Somebody watching oh. think it's an eagle, wonder. Or you were one. There's the drone again. Studying the railway, railway line. If anybody sees that coming down the road, they'll not have a clue what it is. They probably think it's they probably think it's somebody in a wingsuit or a huge eagle. <laughs> Well, I'm on my fifth year now, in midwinter, December. Oh, so no, sorry, it's uh, it's the 23rd of, 23rd of May, 2021 on a Sunday. This walk's been a bit of a trudge, this part. It's lovely, the mountains either side, but it does go on a bit. So we're coming up the bridge of Orkney now. One of the lanes, one of the stations on the West Highland line. Should be like Wednesday when I'm coming on here. Um, I think this is possibly halfway or a little bit further than my next stop. It's 11 o'clock now. So I keep saying that rain's in for the day. That mountain up there on the right and then to the left we want a bit of snow. I think it's like a big amphitheatre of mountains in there. 
so I'll be opposite. It's like a small ridge of a ridge line with trees on just before you come off of somewhat the right hand side. I think uh, possibly maybe down there somewhere. It must be too close that, it must be further on. Anyway, here's the bridge of Oakley Station. Chuck our block with people, all tourists. Well, I bet that's handy for a lot of people doing their walk. That'd be good getting that from here. So, we're just coming down here. Underfoot. I think the last time I was here, uh, it was very pleasant, very sunny. I had a bite to eat just over the bridge, just made sure you shortly. But it was infested with midges. Just being shown the way of our kind gentleman there. Lovely old station here. Yeah. Like a signage when you come under here. Yeah. <clears throat> so, very quaint. I can imagine how some might be chock a block here. Yeah. This is my take of place. Lovely river. That's a good salmon river, that. I've been told even in the winter, there's midges here. This is the back of the hotel bridge, Oki Hotel. This is obviously the bridge. Look at that river. Tip top fly fishing river. I was sitting here the last time. Me and Smudgy sitting down there three years ago. In the bright summer sun or spring sun. The man on the motorhome there, <laughs> he gives a wave. I'm looking all over. I look there, thought that's not it. I look there, thought that's not it. Ah, it was hiding behind here. The awful. This is a very desolate place. When you walk down there, I know the last time you just feel as if you're in the middle of nowhere. Hardly seen a so long here. Just so happens the lad next to me. Tiny bit of snow still left on the top. Well, that uh, rain's keeping off, which is good. This is a lovely stretch of the uh, West Island Way. This road goes on like this all the way through to Rannock Moor, I think. But last time I was here in these native woodlands, there was uh, a lot of deer. So hopefully we'll see them this time. Ah, oh, yes, I think this was built by Thomas Telford. In the 1803 by government to build new roads and bridge to the highlands. Yeah, must have been hard work that. Just notice a strange building down here. Just a standalone thing. A little look down, see? Looks more like a religious building than eh? Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Seen better days. Well, here's my pitch for the night on Rannock Moor. I don't know the names of the mountains the back way, but this is Old Bar Cottage. Bit of a state, but uh, obviously lack like of maintenance. Just take it around. Just behind there, they call it Scotland's biggest amphitheatre. But you can't see it at the minute. May go around the morning. Blow these up a little bit. Snow on the tops there. A little bit 
blurred there. I think that's better. There's some locks. And a little bridge there, and that's the main track to run it more. Thomas Telford built this in the 19th century. It's obviously nobody coming past now. But it's great, great to see the snow back on the hills there. Mountains, I should say. There's a tent blending in nice. There's a tent looking back again. Uh, there's this stream or flooded stream or whatever they call it. Just next to the tent. Just checking to make sure I'll not come in overnight. I think I'll be alright. Been a lot of rain. Just stopped there now. Been tent bound for a few hours. No doubt this fills the locks down the bottom. Back up the top, looks like a little hobbit house. Don't know if I can focus in here. Got them on. Not going up now, but might have a look in the morning. Yeah, a strange little house. There's the snow on top. Been mostly covered in clouds the day. 